Hey guys, this is Un for Games. Uh, long before I did this channel, I devoted way more time than is appropriate to my first real MMO love, Final Fantasy XI. Uh, a shift in developer priorities and a changing market ultimately drove the game to a state in which I, I it felt like it wasn't even the same game. Uh, I regrettably stopped playing. It has now just released its final major update, uh, with one last story to close out the whole Final Fantasy XI experience. And to coincide with this, Final Fantasy XIV is currently having a crossover event. While I love both games, they're ultimately very different, so I always am a tad hesitant to engage in these uh, crossover events that occur in both worlds. Being that this is most likely the last one ever though, I decided to give it to go and I am so glad that I did. Uh, spoilers of the event follow, so if you plan to do the event yourself, please do that and then come back to watch the rest of the video because it's amazing. The event begins in Limsa Limsa, uh, the upper decks, following a cheerful young reporter trying to get the next big scoop. Following her directions, you encounter Iroha? I think it's Iroha. A strangely dressed, if you can say that in a game like Final Fantasy XIV, a young woman who has apparently lost all of her memory. Immediately it starts tugging upon my nostalgia as she confuses Eastern Lenosha with uh, Mara and Selbina. <laughs> now that's a name I've not heard in a long time. Her only goal is to master some uh, incredible technique that is very reminiscent of samurai nomenclature from Final Fantasy XI. We agree to help her in a training regiment, and in true Final Fantasy XI fashion, our first task is to kill countless, countless robber crabs. Uh, sound effects and battle music are all temporarily borrowed from Final Fantasy XI, along with a lovely little Final Fantasy XI banner to start the fade off. It was all really fun, and Aroha even takes a little jab at grinding at the end of the quest, wondering who would suggest such a ridiculous training regiment of fighting crabs over and over and over again. If you only knew the half of it, Aroha. Glimpses of artwork referencing the original badass Shadow Lord foreshadow that more references are probably coming. Next we're sent to engage with some demons, a classic enemy from the very start of Final Fantasy XI, although one not unique to Final Fantasy XIV. But the scythe is a great touch and I can't help but be reminded of all the time spent in Zarkbar killing these bastards. In the cutscene following this encounter, we get a heart-wrenching flashback of Krish from Chains of Hermaid the expansion, one of my favorite characters from the series overall. Then they start kicking things into nostalgic high gear. We're told of a mythical beast of legend that has appeared in the desert. <laughs> its difficulty described as impossible to gauge. I was practically giddy upon reading that. Turns out this enemy of legend is none other than Circuit, a famous scorpion notorious monster from Garlitch Citadel that would terrify new players partying in its basement. My experience with the fight was actually pretty difficult, uh, as I was soloing it most of the time, as a tiny little ninja. But it did feel pretty fitting for a beast of such legendary status in Final Fantasy XI. Following was yet again a cutscene of a few more memories returning, this time of the glorious Fenrir. We set off our final engagement uh, featuring the Dread Dragon himself, one of the earliest fights for budding players in Final Fantasy XI. The Dread Dragon is a memory not easily forgotten. While only a level 25 fight, it was one of the first real encounters that showed players how engaging Final Fantasy XI could be. It was awesome to get a chance to kick his ass just one more time. Upon returning, Iroho has a final revelation and her memories come flooding back. What occurs next is one of the most touching and beautiful moments of storytelling I've had since playing Final Fantasy XIV. While my absolute favorite Final Fantasy XI music plays on, she begins to tell as it only could. It all began with a crystal, <laughs> which is straight out of the intro to Final Fantasy XI, and proceeds through a series of stills featuring some of the most memorable characters, uh, enemies, storylines, and moments of triumph. I'd be lying if I said I didn't get a little misty eyed during the most touching tribute to my time playing Final Fantasy XI that I've ever seen, and it wasn't even in the same game. She explains that the memories she's been having are memories of uh, stories told to her by none other than her master, who's actually you, the character of Final Fantasy XI. I apologize for all the sounds of screenshots, that little ch, -ch noise, but I, I just couldn't help myself as I was watching this, as, as famous fights with Fenrir, Promethea, Bahamut, fights I'll never forget are all streaming past. Characters like Prish, Matt, and of course Shantoto has to be there, all flew by she reminisces about the countless times that the Master has saved Vanadiel. Me, I'm the Master. I then completely lost it as she briefly references you as the Master, and then displays this hilariously adorable apology, I'm so sorry. She of course was right, I am her Master of Legend, and this set of cutscenes has done more to combine, to connect the experiences I've had in Final Fantasy XI and Final Fantasy XIV than any other efforts to date. 
I don't think I can put into words how perfect this tribute felt to me, and honestly, it seems far more fitting as a goodbye to Final Fantasy XI than anything that could take place in Final Fantasy XI itself. At this point, the game feels too different, and I doubt I'll enjoy any of the events that take place there. Whether you have or haven't played Final Fantasy XI, uh, definitely find the time between now and December to, to do this short questline. It provides some cool looking gear, and uh, it's just expertly crafted in its references to Final Fantasy XI. Let me know in the comments if you played Final Fantasy XI and this quest line hits the right chords for you. I was Chewy Roy on uh, the Odin server, so if you knew me there, definitely say something. Uh, like the video if you had fun with the crossover or just enjoy tie-in events like this in general. It was definitely a unique experience for me for sure. Definitely subscribe if you're new to the channel. Uh, even though this video is a little unique for me, I've got plenty of awesome content coming that I can't wait to share. Thanks for watching.